Now then, it's been a long wait, but this evening, loved ones are eagerly anticipating the return of servicemen from Iraq. The returning soldiers are members of the Royal Yeomanry, and a grand reception awaits them any moment now at the Duke of York Barracks in Chelsea. Emma Walden is there. Emma. Thank you, Anna-Maria. Well, uh, we are expecting around 30 soldiers in the next hour. They're a specialist territorial army unit who uh, specialise in detecting weapons of mass destruction. That's chemical, biological and nuclear weapons. Fortunately, of course, they didn't have to uh, go and uh, sort that sort of problem out. But they were used for two months in Iraq, this troop, to patrol and uh, man checkpoints. And joining me now is one of the soldiers' wives, Suzanne Madden. Suzanne, your husband, Jay, was away for two months. He's in the TA not something you're you're used to him being away what's it been like for you it's been quite a strange experience um, quite weird really uh, very worrying obviously um, I guess really I never actually thought he would go away um, and do something like this it was always more of a hobby than to, to me anyway um, so it was quite a strange experience it must have been a huge amb ambition for him to be able to put into practice a lot of what he's learned I think he's been in the TA for over 13 years yes he has yeah um, I think um, although they probably were nervous going out there I think he was looking forward to being able to go out and do exactly what he's been trained to do so um, yeah I am very proud of him now, have you had much contact with him what's it been like for you back at home so I know the TA have been particularly good at trying to support families they have. Um, we've had quite a few family sort of lunches and get-togethers. Um, Captain Say has been absolutely brilliant in organising things, getting everybody together, um, and it's it's been good because it's a nice contact group, um, and it's helped definitely. Um, he's done various things, getting theatre tickets for us and other things like that. So very good. Jay normally works in a recovery garage. What do you think it'll be like for him going back to sort of civilian life after this? Very strange, I think. Um, he's had a very strange routine from the letters that I've been getting home. Um, so whether he's going to be able to adjust to sort of getting up in the morning and going out to do a day's work, I don't know. Suzanne, thank you very much. Great anticipation here. And with that, it's back to you. Indeed, Emma, a very special evening there at the Duke of York Barracks. Thanks very much. A campaign was launched. There were emotional scenes at the Duke of York Barracks in Chelsea this evening. Soldiers returning from service in Iraq were reunited with their families. Emma Walden has this report. <laughs> Married for 26 years, the past two months are the longest Siobhan and Gary Tomlin have ever been apart. So when Gary and his squadron returned from Iraq this evening, it was a huge relief for the families, who may never have expected to see these territorial army soldiers involved in frontline warfare. What have you missed about Daddy being away? I missed his snoring. <laughs> <You're> snoring. <laughs> Members of the Royal Yeomanry's Westminster Dragoon, these men were called up in January, leaving civilian jobs and life behind. Mickey Bonsey left a seven-month-old grandson. Has he grown up? Not has he, yeah. It cost me a few bob now, I think, yeah. <laughs> Adrian and Claire Jenkins spent just five days together after their wedding before he left for the Gulf. And as they got on with married life together, Lisa Brown surprised her husband with a new sports car. In Chelsea, this is Emma Walden for London Tonight. That's it from us. Now back to the ITV News and John Suchet.